very nice of you. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, I work quite a lot with Catherine Ryan, right? We're all fans, yeah? Ah, right. She was head girl at school. Not an official title. <laughs> but that is what they called her. Um, people say the best things in life are free, but those people have clearly never had sex. <laughs> My rule is never text whilst you're driving, because you never know what you're going to message someone when you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Should we talk about COVID? Yeah. Talk about COVID. I was very involved with Clap for Carers. I slept with two nurses, caught it off the first one, gave it to the second. <laughs> that joke's not hurting anyone, which is why I wrote this joke. Um, being fat made you more susceptible to COVID-19. I'm not being funny, but it was more difficult for fat people to socially distance. <laughs> people say you can't blame the Chinese. Watch me now. <laughs> well, COVID was made in China, right? And people seem surprised by that. Everything's fucking made in China. <laughs> You think we could afford a British-made virus? You're living in a fucking dream world, mate. <laughs> so, President Biden beat Trump in the US election, right? Yeah. Joe Biden really reminds me of JFK in that he won't last a full term. What, they're not going to need a sniper on a grassy knoll, are they? I, I reckon a cold snap might do it. <laughs> Knife crime, huge problem. What could be done? Well, simple solution, guns. <laughs> hey, there's no knife crime in America, is there? <laughs> in America, the people most likely to own guns are poor, uneducated white men, or as I like to call them, the police. <laughs> Fifteen billion bullets are produced every year. Fifteen billion. That's enough to shoot everyone on Earth twice. <laughs> or Piers Morgan fifteen billion times. <laughs> ah. I don't want to name drop, but uh, Piers Morgan is actually a close personal cunt. Meghan Markle is a lifelong feminist, which she's demonstrated by marrying a prince and giving up her job. <laughs> well, if that's offensive, where I'm going is not great. <laughs> Since getting married to Prince Harry, Meghan Markle has been subjected to a torrent of racist abuse, but Prince Philip's gone now, safe to come back, I reckon. <laughs> My house is actually built on a burial site. I mean, it wasn't when I moved in, but now. <laughs> this next one is my favourite joke in the set. Last year, we said goodbye to the self-proclaimed grandfather of rock and roll, Little Richard. He died after a long battle with a what bop a loo bop a what bam bone cancer. <laughs> Well, it's been a pleasure meeting you this evening. Thank you very much indeed for listening to me. I'll hand you back to Catherine. Thank you very much indeed. Cheers. Good night. Thank you.